Hello, good evening, hello everybody, and welcome to Angry Welshman Productions. I am the Angry Welshman, aka Reese, and I am joined tonight by Sam of Blast Pipe Productions. Hello. And tonight we are doing another virtual footplate ride on board the recently released, at least it was released two hours ago, uh, Bullied Rebuilt Light Pacific from Bossman Games, and we are going to be driving tonight number 34027 Tor Valley of the West Country class. Um, you may remember the last time we drove a bullied light Pacific. Well, it wasn't even a light Pacific. It was the Merchant Navy, wasn't it? Uh, we we struggled yeah. somewhat. Um, it went fine. I don't know what you're on about. No, we, I would say that we struggled quite a bit, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's all the Southern rubbish, that's why. Yeah, blame, if in doubt, blame the Southern. That's... Uh, the new motto of AWP. So, uh, where are we running tonight? Uh, uh, Jonathan Laws in the chat has just said he can hear me. Can you guys hear Sam and can you guys hear... I just blew the whistle then. Can you guys hear Train Sim as well? Uh, so if you can just confirm and hopefully we don't have to mess around with um, OBS settings again. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Hopefully not. Um, <laughs> not to me. Just gonna wind the handbrake on a little bit. We're actually gonna try and go for proper procedures tonight. Oh, I know, right? Oh dear. I know. So I've uh, I've ejected all the the brakes. So we're at 21 inches on the gauge. Yep, everybody can hear both me and you, Sam. So that is good. Um, we're just waiting for the road. We do have a green signal for the down main, so we'll we'll just do a little bit of explanation while we're sat here. Uh, we're starting off tonight at Exeter St. David's. Some of you may recognise the route. It is from High Speed Tracks. It is the railways of Devon and Cornwall. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because why not? Basically. Uh, also, it's a modern day route with a... Oh, you've been messing around with the uh, head, with the headboards. Which, yeah. uh, which headboard do you want to have? That's what I'm having a look. I'm having a look and seeing what we can go for. I was going to say Holland America. Oh, that but, looks uh, good. The Cumbrian Met. Of course you would have that. Of course you would. <laughs> hey Sam, you've got a fire. You've got a fan in the chat. I've got a fan in the chat. Jonathan Law uh, says Sam is the best fireman. Change my mind. Even oh. though he's Canadian, he has Scot Scottish blood in his veins. There we go. <laughs> Bossman Games Rail Tours Limited. Well, that seems to be the last headboard. But do you know what? I kind of like it. You know, I was messing around with this local earlier. I can't remember how to turn the lights on. Um, let's see if I can work it out. Because it's not... That's the lamps and... Uh, not the lamps, the discs. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's a switch or something. Do you want to go back to the front? There'll be a switch in the cab, I reckon. Yeah, I think there's a switch. But I can never remember. I certainly don't think there's a keyboard command. And I can never remember what codes to have on, you know, like, especially with Southern stuff. Yeah, me neither, so we're going for the scat. Yeah, we can go for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's put, um... Oh, let's go for, um... Oh, God, where's it Hang going? on, I'm going back. I'm just going back. I was... Right, what the hell's happened now? You've broken it. Uh, You've broken it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything, Reese. I was trying to go back to the... Oh, my God. Right. Stop pressing buttons, Sam. <laughs> okay. It's... I don't know what... I, uh, I bet I know what's happened. Try now. Right, I think we're getting there. Yeah, it was because I'd press shift while you were pressing H. Yeah. Should we have Holland America? Yeah, why not? Why not? Right, so um, those of you wondering, this is a very advanced locomotive. Um, literally, it's probably one of the toughest locos to drive in train sim. This and the Merchant Navy. And we've got some very hefty coaches on the back. We've got 11 of the Armstrong Powerhouse Mark 1s. Ah, that's easy. The other thing to mention, Sam, 
We're booked in to depart from Exeter, St. David's. We stop at Newton Abbott, so I think it's about 40 minutes or so to Newton Abbott. Right. And then we take on water at Newton Abbott. And we have the possibility, if Train Sim will let us, of adding another loco. Ooh. But, but because I've set the scenario with a destination, I don't know if we're going to be able to set the points. Ah, uh, right. So we'll try... Because I'd like to have a second. I'd like to set the points. I'd, I'd like to set a banker on, you know. Yeah. And we'll do it properly. We'll bring the loco off. We'll put the banking engine on, and then we'll bring the loco back on. Oh, you mean we'll do rule book banking? Yes, we're gonna do rule. Oh, control and H should bring up a high powered lamp. Let's try it. Aha! Mm, that'll do. Is that too high powered? Yeah, that's a bit too high powered for the day. It's kind of blurring the lights. Anyway, without further ado, I think it's time to get going. Do you want to stick the lights on on the loco? I tried. Uh, what have we got? Gauge lights, reversing scale light, floodlights. Stick them all on. Let's put everything on. That did nothing. If you can smell garlic, it means we've got a hot inside big end. Okay, well that's good to know. Um, it's not helpful with the garlic bread I'm having, is it? No. <coughs> we'll have a look inside the fire in just a minute. I'm just trying to find the light switch. Of course, on a steam engine. Oh, is there like um, air compressor? Do we have to have that open? I don't know. It's southern. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I do know what I'm doing, but I also don't know what I'm doing. It's seven. What could possibly go wrong? We need the steam what turbine on. Okay, back? steam turbine. Where's the steam turbine? Oh, I don't have the... Um, what's it called? It's on the... Thing. Uh, heating cock injector. Vacuum ejector. Speaking of... No! No! Uh, no! Stop! I'm not doing anything. No, that one you, it was uh, gauge um, cock. Let's just see how the injectors work. Oh yeah, before we get started, we're going to play with the injectors. So, so that, uh, the water should be going down, which it is. Basically, if you press K and L, it just opens the water fully open or fully shut. And then if you press I and O, it opens That's the steam cool. valves fully open or fully shut. And then with the mouse, you can adjust the flow. So, like, right. if it's fully open and it's pouring too much water in, you can, like, shut it half a turn. And then it, it just reduces the amount of water going in. Is that water level going in? What, in the boiler? Yes, it yeah. Should be. It is, but that's quite slow. Well, that's because I messed with it. Hang on. Don't mess with it. Oh, there we go. So that should be going up. There you are. That... Right. Yeah. So if I do that and that. I can still hear water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's because you turned the other ones on. Right, that's the steam. There you go. Right. I think so we're all it's set. Not a, it's not K and L or Reese. What you did was turn the water on. Yeah, I did. It, it, yeah, it's L and O and it's K and I. Well, yeah, K and L is the water. I and O is yeah. the steam. Right, let's... Let's fill the fire. Go on then, shovel away. Do Bahamas firing on it. What's Bahamas firing? Coat... Co um, Cleaning every single, uh, every single piece of coal uh, before you throw it in. Yep, you've got to polish it before you stick it in the firebox. <coughs> I thought it would be. Oh yeah, don't overfill the fire. I think I found about 900 to 800 is probably reasonable for steam generation. What have we got on there? High 800 somewhere? 867. Ah, that'll do. Alright, so if you're ready then. Right, he's we're, ready. Right, we're ready.
The last time I drove this, I just couldn't make it. Um, I couldn't make it wheel spin. Oh, looking at the video feed, apparently we do have um, the chat this time. Oh, well, that's good. But we don't have the other things, so. The generator, it's beside the fire hole door. Let's have a quick look. Is it? Is it that thing? Oh, that's a Sanders. Oh, or is it that thing? Aha! Ah. Well, that's good to turn lights on if you see injectors on. Just for a well lit cab. Yeah. Let's open the reg. Let's see if we've got any lights on the front. We yeah, we have. we do. Excellent. Hey, hey, hey. Right then, let's get this show on the road, is it? Why not? Uh, come on. I think I know why we're not going anywhere. I really shouldn't be surprised, should I? No. Yeah, she actually starts moving when you take the handbrake off. You know, that's useful you nugget say. useful nugget of information to have there. You say that, like, we've now got a tender which has semicircles to do with. Squares. I like how everybody starts typing in the chat, uh, you know, handbrake. handbrake is on after I've already told them the handbrake's on. Yep. <laughs> right, let's uh, close the brake a little bit. Are we blowing off? Honestly, I don't know. The audio's a little bit... No, you've just not put the sound under that. Um... Yeah, the audio is a little bit glitchy on my end, but I think that might be my weird internet issues. So. This is a bit of an experiment for me um, tonight. Yeah. And we're off. And we're off. That steam generator is... Um, that steam generator is uh, making quite a noise. Oh, he's shoveling. Right then, chaps. So we got 60 people watching the live stream. Hello and welcome to everybody. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll actually get some engagement with the chat tonight. Didn't mean to wind her all the way back there. Joe Light Railway says hi guys, hello. Yeah. Oh, Terry Bartlett wow. is our ticket inspector today. So Terry, you need to make sure everybody on the train is wearing their COVID-19 face masks. <laughs> and if they're not, you need to shoot them in the face with a big gun. But make sure I'm out of COVID first. You don't want to spread it all over the seats. Yes. Really just wash out. But hey, for the first class passengers, dinner in a chair. Yeah, we do actually have quite a uh, quite an extensive dining service on today. If we just go, we'll go to the carriages a sec. Hang on, let me just show them the carriages. Got quite a bit of lag there, so we got a BCK. T S uh, C K C K. We got a buffet. Uh, we've got T S O T S O. Corridor coach. Corridor coach. Now we've got the buffet restaurant car and an extensive uh, dining saloon. So if any of you are fancying a bite to eat, head back to the uh, to the restaurant car. Book yourself a table. Uh, what's on the menu for today, Sam? I forgot to ask. 
Yorkshire puddings and gravy. That's the main. What's the starter? Yorkshire puddings and gravy. <laughs> so for starters, we got Yorkshire puddings and gravy. For the main course, we got Yorkshire puddings and gravy. And what have we got for the dessert? Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Of course we do. What a fantastic uh, original menu we've got today. Ooh, served with a nice gravy cocktail. We're uh, blowing off if you want to get the injectors on. The injector should be on. E yes, I think you're right. Work with the next shot. Everybody has their tickets and face masks, so both tick and traction inspector is good. Mamod nah. Steam Returns is asking his sausage wine on the menu. I guess that's on the drinks menu today. It's always on the drinks menu. Sausage wine is just compulsory, isn't it? As soon as you get on, you climb on the coach, you get a glass of uh, sausage wine shoved in your hand. Whether you want it or not. Oh yeah, uh, can you get a side of sausage with the... Um, with the Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Oh, that's the main course. The main course is um, third in the hall. That water level is still going down, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that's we. The injection should be on. It is going down slow. Ah. There we go. I think it was because we were on a gradient as well. Yeah. I think you just turned it off, didn't you? It sounds like it's going. Well, the speed's picking up. We're up to 50 miles an hour, Sam. I love riding this loco, it just, you actually feel like you're sitting on the footplate. Hi. The food always has sausage in it no matter what you order according to Red Bear Productions. That sounds about right. Yeah. King Ori is asking, is the red handle supposed to shake like that? Okay, um, what, well, just ask me what you want to see then. Um, can I tell you what, can we go and look out the fire engine side? Same to you, but from the side of the work there. Just because the hood will be on the uh, left hand side then, and I'll be able to see it. Yeah, is better. that any better? Yeah, that's loads better. Okay, so the water's going down, the boil of water level isn't really changing, which is good, I guess. It seems to be uh, maintaining it, doesn't it? The pressure's going down now, which is not considered. Well, you just shoveled a massive load on the fire. Dampers are open, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, your steam generation rate has gone up quite a lot. Gone up? Yeah. Good. Although it's peaked at 42,000. Yeah, I've noticed that, which is interesting. And the water level's rising now. Water level's rising now. There you go, I can uh, notch her back a bit, 40% with full reg. Tr I'm just going to ease back on the reg a touch just to try and save you a bit of steam. Because I'm pretty sure the speed limit here is... Oh, it's 100. I'm sure going across the seawall, it's um, we're limited to 70. Yeah. It's either 70 or um, 60. Aha, uh -huh, so that injector was on. My steam's going up now. And the water should have stopped going down? Yeah. Very good, that's all. It blows off at 250 this thing, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 
So we're nearly at 60 miles an hour now, and we'll probably maintain that all the way. 34027 on the Holland American. Tor Valley. So, what's everybody's first impressions of the rebuilt Light Pacific? Yeah, seven. Wait, the automatic Please. fireman is now enabled. What the, what happened then? What, what are you giving turning auto fireman on? Am I not good enough for you? I I didn't do that. How did how did that happen? Yeah, it's disabled. You'll press the button while I were firing. Yeah, uh, probably. I'm just going to notch her back a little bit further. <coughs> yeah, I heard it. <laughs> AWS. Oh, it's a, uh, do I need a spam queue or...? No, it's a green signal. We're good. I didn't get that earlier, you know? Hmm. Well, that bird's well. You haven't stuck Leslie down somewhere or something, have you? No. But we are going to play a little game. On this run, we have to see what... Oh, hang on. We have to see if there's any interesting things that we can spot from the line side. Oh, boy. Because I may have added a couple of things down in the game. Oh, uh, right. I see. I know exactly what you've done. Why? What have I done? I can't say it because it'll be spoilers, won't it? It would. But it involves you think through over the hills, doesn't it? It does. Yep. <laughs> Is the water level going up? No. Oh it's going God, down. It's yeah, turn everything off, start again. I have. How about now? There it is. <laughs> I love this route. We'll have to see if the water level goes up. I've eased back on the reg, so you should have plenty of steam for it. Oh, I should be both injectors on there. Yeah, it's going up. You are, she's fighting me on this firing. Is she? Yeah. So we're on the Great Western Main Line, on the Dawlish Seawall, in a rebuilt Bully Pacific. Well, they have been there. They have, yes. I think they they did run occasionally. Well, is that another one? How many have you added? I've added quite a few. <laughs> Just to see how many people can spot. Have you spent the whole afternoon in bedding? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Joe Light Railway is asking that we go into Kingsweir. The answer is no, we're not. We will have to try and do some line siding. Oh, it's going to be tricky. I know, we did. It's hard enough trying to look against the sky. Tender water's not going down, is it? Not right now, no. Right. Let me know when we get to 240 PSI. Okay. We will do a little bit of line siding. You're at 240 PSI now. Now I think that's both injectors on, isn't it? It should be. I 
That's the new generation where it's dropping as well, isn't it? Yeah. I think, yeah, keeping the fire between 800 and 900 seems to be the best way. Yeah, I can see like I said, it's quite pixely on my end, but I can't see it too well. Yeah. Uh, for, was it Joe Light Railway, I think, was asking, are we going to Kingsway? We're not going to Kingsway, we're going to tackle the South Devon Banks and we're going to head up over the hills to uh, to Plymouth. We're going to do what? That's, that one went wrong. <laughs> that one's trying to be a train. It is. And here we are, we're on the infamous seawall. The Dawlish Seafront. Might have to open up the reg a little bit here. Can we try keeping the reg open and playing the reverse? Yeah, I'm going to try that now. Oh, we're down to £200 on the fire. On the boiler pressure, rather. Right. What are we on on the fire? Uh, 950, so you can stop firing now. In fact, it's good that you overfired here because um, we got the tunnels coming up. I'm actually, you actually thought ahead, Sam. Well done. I always think ahead. There's another U-boat there. So, for those of you wondering why we have so many U-boats um, on the route, basically, it's uh, a private commission to get a U-boat into the game. For filming in over the hills. And um, yes, we are adding a U boat to over the hills, you heard like correct. Yes. That'll get your brain cells thinking. I know, right? We'll get a lot of um, comments now saying, What are the Germans doing in over the hills? Isn't it set in the 60s? I don't know what's happening with the boiler water level, it just went from like 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. I'm not entirely sure what's happening with the boiler water level. I can't get it to change that much either. Uh, it's going. It's to seems to be going back and forth, doesn't it? Yeah. Is the um, steam generation rate going up or down? Very slowly going up. Right. 900 is over firing length. Well, that's okay because, um, you know, we had the tunnels coming up, didn't we? So. Yeah. Another U boat. You really have had quite a lot, haven't you? Just a bit. Over the hills, the war years. I'd like to place a U boat in the River Usk at Abergavenny. A real oh. See now the boiler water levels down to 0 0.6. Yeah. But, but you've got a good fire in it, so you're making steam. So. Yeah. Issue is the inject injectors don't seem to be particularly effective. No. I've got both of them on, uh, both of them on right now, and it's not really doing much, but it is draining the boiler pressure. Just see. We may have to play with the trimmers just a little bit. It should be injecting. It looks like it's injecting. You got thick black smoke, so I wouldn't fire any more for a bit. Um, planning on. We're on the final stretch of the seawall. That woman is levitating. Was that man? Yeah, now we're coming around to Teignmouth. Actually, it's Tinmouth, isn't it? It's not Teignmouth, it's Tinmouth. Tinmouth. Although, I don't know if it is actually 
Everton before that's just my own correct I always call it Tinmouth no, I think that's correct Tinmouth is, t is correct what's the um, fire mass at? 850 850 is the ideal lane because we're at maximum steam generation now. yeah so I'd say try and keep it somewhere around there Little and often, Sam. Little and often. Aye. <clears throat> so how is everybody in the chat? I hope everybody's having a good evening. I was until you made the fire. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although we haven't really got her past about 60 mile an hour yet. We're not going to be able to. We do have quite a hefty train on the back. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be another Ubo around here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Looming <laughs> <laughs> ominously in the distance. Well, we're at 61 now. That's good. The thing is, as well, is um, we started these virtual footplate rides, but the thing is, both me and Sam, we have a very short amount of time to learn how to drive and fire the engine. Yeah, like, this is the first time we've actually driven this engine. Well, first time I fired it, at least. I think you've taken it for a test and then yeah, but even then, I've only taken it for a very short test run. Yeah, exactly. It's not like it's um, been a very long one. Yeah, it's uh, it's learning on the job, really. I mean, in effect, I know it's not anywhere close to um, actually driving or firing on the main line for real, but it's like the same principle of taking a guy. Are you white? Are you notching it forward? I shouldn't be. I don't know what happened then, but the reverse has started winding itself forward. It's possible I may have unlocked it instead of pressing R. Oh, maybe. Oh, we're up to 0.9 on the uh, boiler water level now. Yeah, I know, but we've never hit the pressure. Well, that's alright, you've got plenty of steam generation, so... Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to maintain it at that maximum. You could just, could just hear the frantic tapping. The then. frantic tapping of the uh, TPWS just. Da, 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 da. That's don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. That's pretty much what I'd be like if I was a real mainline driver. Just be going along like la di da, and then suddenly. Da, 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 da. <laughs> if I was being examined, if I was like Andy Stovall being examined to drive on the main line, he'd just be all of a sudden. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't think there's any more U-boats now. Although we're not actually that far from um, from Newton Abbott. Do you know what, Reef? I never thought I'd hear myself but I think I'd actually like to take a Great Western worker for a drive on the road. Oh my god. My I'm bleeding heart. <laughs> Why? There's a, there's a strategic reason. What? I mean, Midland locos would work too. See, they're all um, right hand drive Midland locos and Great Western locos. Yeah. And if it's some hand drive, it means I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, well, we're stopping, are we? Yep. Let me know when you're going to shut off the reg next time. Sorry, I just realised that at the last minute. Yeah, you could have just burst the G landings. Sorry. I pretty much just had to drop both anchors out.
Now we got to stop in the right place because we're going to take on water here. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad that's not my problem. Sorry everybody, I gotta try and stop her in the right place. It's a bit of a big lurker for a banker. I'll explain my reasoning. Right, let's see if we've stopped in the right place. First of all, I think we're actually a little bit short. But if I press T, yeah, that haven't worked. Sorry, everybody, we gotta get in the right place for the scenario thing to trigger itself. My right, boiler's full. Boiler's full? Yeah. Sorry everybody who's alighting here. Like firing us at 891 there. Yeah. Ooh! Let's try it there. It is the tiki, isn't it? It is the tiki. But not to be confused with a carriage key. Ah. Well, unfortunately, the water... Oh, I just clicked the walker tanker. Doesn't seem to want to work. Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. I don't understand why this happens in train sim. It always seems to happen to me. Right. Oh well. You think we've got enough pressure? Uh, I think we'll be alright, mate. I think we're alright. Right, so what we're going to do then, because we got the South Devon Banks coming up, I think we'll uh, uncouple. Do you want to, um, before you do, do you want to just check we can actually switch the point? Just because there's no point in uh, no point in setting us going if we can't uncoupling and all that lot if we can't actually stick it on. Uh, not in it, is it? Well, shall I try if I click on that loco? Okay, well that's not good. <laughs> um, right, let's try again. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> nope. Oh, we are. Uh, it is taking on water now, look. Well. Like we moved forward a little bit and it started taking on water. Do you know what you've done? <coughs> What's that, sorry? You fucked up my beautiful firing. I know. You're going to have to start firing again, mate. I'm going to have to use a train sim glitch against me. Sorry. I had like a fire perfect. So it was probably and wrong and ready to go. And, uh... Right, well anyway, we got to get going. Yeah, um, we've got to get going now and fast the fire and not do well, it Actually, I see how it is. We've got a thousand gallons left to go. you got a bit of time to build your fire back up. So, dampers are open, blowers on. We're blowing off like crazy. Braunton has let us down today. 34046. 
Well, it's a southern thing, I mean, it's to be yeah. expected, really. So we're on our own as far as Plymouth. Woohoo! So Sam, it's all on you, it's quite a hefty grade. Now is the time. What's that? Sweet sphere. Oh, thank you. Little marshmallows. Oh, thank you. My lovely Please wife has. My lovely wife has brought us uh, refreshments for the foot plate. Thank you. She's giving me the middle finger now. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Love me. No, middle finger. <laughs> Anyway, so we're pretty much set to go apart from just taking on the last bit of water. What sort of fire am I set? Uh, 828. Well, Sam, we got a good head of steam on us. Yeah, it's not like that, worries me. It's not the steam we have now, it's the steam we're going to need in five minutes. Yeah. Right, water, water's full. No, it isn't. Well, the water was full. Right, we got a tip from the guard. We're on our way. Here we go. Right away, driver. Right away. I've been trying to make a wheel slip. What's that? What Why are you bringing all these sweets for me? I can't have all of these. I bought them for you today. I've got diabetes. <laughs> Oh, the boiler water is quite full. Yep. Do you know these little chocolates? Rainbow oh, buttons? Why is it injecting? She's brought me rainbow buttons. Ooh. Yeah, Reese, leave cylinder taps open for a bit. Just until that boiler water level gets into one. Copy that. Quite loud. Yeah, but the boiler water level is going up, not down, even though the injectors are off. Let's have a look. I oh, know, it's going down now. Yeah, they're off. Use some of banks. We're going to have to be over here. I'm going to have to keep the taps open, and I? It's just a little bit longer. Yeah, we're just going to have to stick with the with side of the I'm not going to be able to fire it properly. And with the big hills we've got to be yeah. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of this water because we're about to go on the gradient. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon we can shut the taps now. Give her a full reg, let's see what she can do.
So for everybody watching the live stream, how many of you have gone and bought the Bossman Games Rebuilt Light Pacific? It's available now on their website, www.bossmangames.co.uk or .com. Um, yeah, go and buy it. Here we go, Sam. We're on our way to the South Devon Banks. And look at my steam generation there. Shocked it, man. Shocked it. It's going up all the time. Is it me, or is that water level gone down? It has, but we're about to go on the gradient. Uh, I thought we were already going on the gradient. We're just coming on it now. Yeah, we're just coming on to it now, look. Woohoo! Oh, look, there we go, I've got water again. I'll tell you what, one thing, sir, we're definitely doing better than this time. We're doing better than what? Better than last time. What, with the Super D? No, 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 last time the, um, I like the Super count. Oh. Well, the lead out. Starting to lose all our speed now. What speed? Just got to let her hey. climb the hill now. We're losing speed on the EVs. We're, uh, we're at maximum boiler pressure and we're injecting. Steam wise, we're actually doing quite well. But almost like he's just climbing. He's proficient. <laughs> That's not that bad, is it? Yep, we're on a 1 in 46 uh, gradient. Oh dear. Come on. What's going on in the chat? We just gotta let her climb the hill now. Reese, what have you done? Why is the reversal at seventy percent? She's not climbing. Well, what have you done to the engine? <laughs> oh dear. Reese, the reverse is at like 70%. I know. Why'd you do that? Because we're climbing. Reese, you've literally just killed it. <laughs> We're doing our right then. Let's see if I can start her off. If we don't get up this hill now just because we want it to wheel slip. I didn't want it to wheel slip. Come on. Let's see if we can get her going again. No, nah, there's no way we're going to start her on this gradient.
Right, off on the outside, let's have a look at her from outside. No. She should be up for a regular. She is. <sighs> I guess we're going back down. Amateur drivers. We'll have to have another go, Sam. Ah, well. Okay, this is probably not allowed on the main line, but meh. That's why, really, I wanted a banker. Because it's quite a hefty load, 11 coaches. Yeah, I think you were relying on it a bit too much. Shouldn't have set a route if you wanted a banker. I never set a route, Reese. No. I could go and edit the scenario. Yeah. How far up the hill did we actually get? Not far enough. We may have to leave some coaches at Newton Abbott. Max for steam on that bank solo is eight. Yeah, someone's just asking, could we reverse onto Braunton? Potentially. You can give it a go. A lot'll do. Yeah. Don't ram into it. Well, I'll try not to. I'm not sure what the speed limit is for running uh, carriages first back down a hill, but I don't think it's 42. Well, it's 45 tender first. But it's alright, we're running gravity train. Mainline gravity train. Right, Reese, when we couple on to Braunton, don't click on it. No. Like, at all. Don't reset my firing. If you can help it, please. I'll try not to. Your boiler's down to 0.86. IDK13 says we stalled. I was planning to have Braunton banking and assisting on that incline. I think you were banking on it a bit too much. Uh... <laughs> Here all night, folks. Someone's asking what about Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman is crap, so we're not even going to mention Flying Scotsman. Terry Bartlett says we should take a run at the bank. We tried that. Well, we didn't take a huge run at it. We well, took enough of a run. Alright, fire mass is now up to 914. Boiler pressures, uh, boiler water is full. And we have got absolutely no boiler pressure. We're literally down to 150 pounds. Is that still going down? Yes. Ah, bloody eject injectors. I've just whacked the blower on full to try and bring the fire back. Are the injectors injecting? We don't have brakes, hang on. This is why I need to see them.
I have no idea. Uh, yeah, the injectors are injecting now. They're not supposed to be. That's why we've got no boiler pressure. I shut one off. Right, do you want to make sure they all turned off? Water and steam. Something's on. Why aren't we going anywhere? Probably because um, we've not got any pressure. No, we you do have some. You haven't put have you? No. Do you want to check it? I just checked. Well, we're not doing very well again tonight, chaps. But hey... We were. It's alright. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? <sighs> Sam, you've got a very unhappy person in the chat with your comment about flying Scotsman. Good. <laughs> Yeah, the um, D5 D2, oh, I'm not even going to try saying that. Um, someone was saying, Flying Scotsman at Black Bank, it needed 44871 to help. Of course it did, that's because Black 5's and Midland Lurkers, and wow, well done, Reese. Excellent. I got a plan. Uh, let me drive next time? Nope. <laughs> Another plan. Tell you what, Reese. Um, once we finish this little experiment, if you'll allow me. What's um, that? Once we've stopped streaming. I want to see how it runs the other way around. Okay. Um, I want to have a go at loading up trains on my end and seeing if you can connect to it or not. Yeah. Right, let's um, try getting back into that scenario. In fact, I've got a better idea. We're going to cheat. We're going to uh, skip over that hill. No. We're going to try and do what I actually wanted to achieve. Ah, uh, right. Just double head. Yeah, I'm going to put Braunton on. And because we we did make it as far as Newton Abbott, it's not really cheating, is it? <laughs> I'm really not sure why we derailed, though. Because you were going over lacrosse over too quickly and you were pushing all the way from front of the train. Did that cause it? Yep. I had a super class 47. You know, okay. <laughs> I think I've triggered someone by talking about Midland stuff. <laughs> yep. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do the hand of God thing and just add Bronson in. <laughs> Come on, train sim.
Right. Left. Up. Back. Yes. <laughs> oh no, wait, hang on. Did you just delete it? I wanted to um, save the consist. <laughs> Come on, any time today, train sim. Boof, 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 boof. Why are you doing this, Reese? I'm just going to mention to uh, me engineer in the chat who's saying that Midland locos weren't very good and bad Midland policies ruined LMS and VR. Oh dear, Sam's triggered. Oh no, I triggered him by saying that Black Fives uh, are good at climbing hills. But anyway, um, if you actually look into it, you'll find that the Midland Railway worked very well when it was the Midland Railway. It was only when it got to um, sort of the late nine, uh, late nineteen hundred, late nineteen tens, um, that the Midland Railway started to have issues. Um, and the Midland Railway had a very genius policy in that they ran all of their trains and timetable based on a worst case scenario. So essentially, they planned everything out so that. No matter what engine was on the train, oh, no what? what condition the engine was in. <laughs> so we're ca we're currently gonna go drive three four zero four six Braunton along with three four zero four six Braunton. Uh... <clears throat> Epic. <coughs> Excellent. Right. Let's just uh, let's just carry on. Yeah, I'm, pa I'm past the point of caring now. <laughs> right, we're going from my side of the cab this time. All right, get your fire going. Yeah, I need to see that hood. Do you want to get all lights and headboard and that stuck on while I'm sticking some rock on? Yeah. Oh, that'll do. That looks rather nice, doesn't it? It's um. Two and four. Uh, maybe not two and four. Let's try one and. There's uh, double Braunton. See now you've just did did the auto fireman. No, you did the auto fireman. I wasn't pressing any keys. You pressed Control and S, didn't you? No. I, my finger was nowhere near the S button. You pressed Control, though, didn't you? Yes. Yep, like I'd do it. I'm pressing R for sticking the curl in. Oh. Right then, are we ready? Uh, no. Right, he's ready. <laughs> Hopefully your fire will be nice and hot by the time we get to the hill. There's hoping. Let's see if uh, two Brauntons can do the job. Well, we're certainly accelerating quicker. I think Sam's angry at me, ladies and gents. <laughs> ah, it's just this southern rubbish. Which we're promoting tonight, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Go buy this southern rubbish. <laughs> Die Dai Woodham's got... Uh, ah, there he is! Stuart Leeming 88. S Leeming. Now I'm definitely talking to Stuart Leeming, right? Because <laughs> I found out in the last stream, Sam, that uh, apparently it me engineer. Yep. We're on the wrong road, by the way. Change the point, quick. Too late. It reads. 
We're going to Kingswear. <laughs> right, well, we're now going to Kingswear, so, uh... <laughs> there we go. What do you want to do? Should we go back? Uh, fuck it, we're going to Kingswear. <laughs> I wanted to see how we're gonna do it. Nah, screw it. This is why I don't do free roam, Sam. This is why you check your point. Ugh. Yeah, get the stack. I can't believe we now gotta go back again. I can. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm get This is really not going well, is it? I'm going fine until you shift like reverse forwards. Well, we were losing our speed. Yeah, and then you shift it forwards and we lost what little we had left. <laughs> well, she would have just ground to a halt anyway. She didn't have the balls yeah. for it. Let me guess, any minute now we're going to have a train sim dump and that'll be the end of the line. Oh, what? We're here. This is going really well. <laughs> no, Terry, it's not my night tonight. Everything's going against me tonight, isn't it? Bed, when uh, we do this, um, what is it stream we've got planned, Reese? <laughs> it's, it's better go better than this. I really hope so. Right, attempt number two. In. Number three. Attempt number three. Breaks off. <laughs> Reverse her forward. Lights oh, on. Lights on. Generator on. Shovel coal. <laughs> Stick on headlights. Lights. Headboard. <laughs> do you remember how to put the lights on, or? Or just, ah, yeah, that'll do. Right, let's go. Guess you, you can shovel on the way. Set the points. Right, we're good. Right. This looks better if you don't succeed. Give up. <laughs> Never do it again. Uh, yeah, that works too. If at first you don't succeed, maybe you aren't cut out for it. Maybe it's not the right job for you. <laughs> Inspirational messages from Angry Welshman Productions. That should be like quote of the day or something. If at first you don't succeed, maybe it's not for you. Yeah. I want it printed on a t-shirt or something. New AWP merch coming soon, guys. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll stick a screenshot of a derailment on it with that caption. Oh, what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Why are the brakes on? I don't know. Why did you put the brakes on? I didn't put the brakes on. I bet I know what you've done. What? You were out on a cab, weren't you, miles away? Yeah. You know this engine has AWS, don't you? Well, it didn't activate. That one AWS. Hmm. Maybe at some point we'll get this engine over the Dayton banks. I'm really, uh, I'm determined to get us over this bank now. <laughs> Well, right, Sam, you need your fire a bit more than that, I think. Yeah, I'm shoveling. I'm He's shoveling. Oh dear, Joe Light Railway is triggered by the Golden Arrow headboard. <laughs> what should we have instead, then? 
There you are, that'll do. Reese Jones is asking, are the points set right? Yes, I just double checked. Yep. Not straight back. Right then, Sam. You fired her nicely. Blowers on, dampers are open. Let's do this. Luke is asking where's our next sp stop. It's uh, Plymouth. Yeah. Everybody seems quite happy that we've put the Atlantic Coast Express headboard on. Right, fire's good, water's good, we're about to hit the gradient, mate. Yep. I'm going to leave her about 45% cut off this time. Right. Let's see what happens. Come on, Brauntons. Assuming that the other Braunton is actually doing anything. If not, it's going to be dragging dead weight and we're going to do even worse. Do you know what else we should have done? What? We should have started and coupled and then coupled on. Yeah, that would have been good. I reckon if we'd done that in the first place, we might have got away with it. Are we on the gradient yet? Just coming yep. on now. Well, we're at 50. Uh. She's doing it, Sam. Bye. Uh, much happier for us now. There we go, we're back where we were. It's only taken about 20 minutes to mess it around. Standard for train set. Oh, there we are, losing speed. Oh, and we're blowing off. Yeah, I'm just getting some water in while we are. We're good, we're good. We got Rattery Bank after Dainton, according to Terry. Let's take it one hill at a time, shall we? Yeah. So you think I should just leave the reverser where it is, Sam? Um, I definitely don't think you should notch it up yet. It's a classic mistake to make. You've got to let her lose speed, but when you're fighting a hill, you're always going to lose speed. You've just got to find a point at which you lose it in speed. Once we get to our 30, I'll probably look at notching it up a bit. Well, that's pretty much what I did last time. Yeah, but not all the way up to 75, like notch it up until lots of speed slows down a bit. All the speed at which we're losing speed slows down a bit. Oh, we're nearly at the top, mate. Come on.
Come on, we're nearly there. Yeah, we'll manage it. Just coming up to the top now with the tunnels. I think the tunnels is the summit because you can see the uh, where the line goes back. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. We're literally on top of the hill. I'm refusing, I'm not going to give up here. You mean we're going over the hill? We are going over the hill. Oh, goodness me. Highland Winter Wolf has just donated $20. Thank you for keeping us all entertained. I hope you and Sam are doing well, and please don't derail. Well, we've already derailed, uh, so uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, we've met it. we got to get as much speed as we can now going down the other side. That's on a you, Reese. I'm going to try and get as much as I can to get some speed. I don't think we should call this um, an assessment trip because I'm going to have to put more training required. Well, for you at least. Well, your face maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, Reese. My fire has been magnificent. To be fair, we haven't run out of steam. Your fire has been pretty decent. <laughs> Fireman Sam. <laughs> You do realise that's going to be on a piece of merchandise as well at some point. <laughs> hey, if anyone else is wrong in a caricature of this show, let's go for it. The Angry Welsh Driver and Fireman Sam. <laughs> there, there we go. All the water. It's all gone. Oh my god. This is why I was injecting, going through the tunnel. Get that reg up and get the fire going. Oh goodness me, and we're losing all our boiler pressure. Yep, that would be because I'm injecting. The water. I need speed! And because you haven't been running it fast enough to be generating uh, pressure. Oh my goodness. But watch what happens now when you get up to speed and the fire goes at max generation, mate. Oh, I'm good. Well, we're up to speed. Of course. Gonna have to get some screenshots, I think. It's Double brawn turns. Stop pressing control. Well, I've ruined my screenshot now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Might be going a little bit quick. Ignore the speed limit. It's fine. It, it, it's not there. If you don't look at it, you can't... If you, if you don't look at it, you can't break it. That's right, you can't break the speed limit if you don't know what it is. You may have noticed I just saved the game. Yes. Fine, we'll go off how many lampposts we go past. Oh, we're up to 80 now. 
Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who was holding on to the side of the cab there. <laughs> I told you it's inside, I've got a seatbelt on. Holding steady at 78. Do. Sorry, we're making up for lost time. We're making up for lost time. Why have we got a single yellow? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, no. We're approaching Totnes. Oh yeah, we're running out of boiler fresh water. Yes, I'm aware. Oh my god. I can't hear anything you say in a minute. The injectors. They're on, aren't they? No. I'm not supposed to be. There we go, that way. Oh my giddy aunt. You're gonna have to shut off a bit, please. Sure oh, there's a, there's a South Devon railway. Just passing through Totnes. Well, we got a steep old climb coming up now. Sorry, all the passengers in the coaches are so high on sausage wine right now, they wouldn't know what's going on. Good job, isn't it? We've kept all half of it. Right now, just so you're aware, we're going to have a pressure. Yeah. Hi. Sorry. Nothing bad has ever happened in Train Sim. Can you guys in the in the video, sorry, in the live stream chat, can you hear Sam all right? Because I can hardly hear him. Hmm. You should be able to hear me all right. I'm struggling to hear you. I think it's because this loco is so bloody loud. Water level's alright now, I think. Yeah. How far have we got on the hill? Um, good question. How long's a piece of string? Yeah, Sam's very quiet. Well, I don't know why I've gone quiet all of a sudden. I can hear you then when you say that. <coughs> <coughs> Everyone in chat saying they can hear me fine. Except for one who's saying I need to burp my mic. 
we've had enough with boats tonight. Yeah, plenty of U-boats. Yeah. We're going to run out of steam, yeah? Yeah, I did tell you. I couldn't see what the injectors were doing when you switched up that, and I knew they weren't doing something properly. Although the pressure seems to be coming back round now. Yep, that's because I'm not injecting. Um, yes, Sam has been to the South Devon Railway. I've been once um, a few years ago now. We were a lovely little line. Well, I seem to recall that when I went there, they had nothing but pans. Sounds like a proper railway. I mean, when I say that, like, I mean, I think they had about five panniers when I was there. Oh, was it a pannier gala? Nope, it wasn't a gala. It was just. I think there were two in operation and then. One in the shed and three, uh, two in the works or something like that. We had a lot of panniers there. And we're coming to a undignified stop. Which is a real shame because we're not far from the summit. Well, stick the brakes on, whack the blower open, we'll do a proper blow up. And we stopped for a blow up. Well, we've done well. Restarted twice. And now we've ground to an undignified halt. For a blow up. Buy the Boss Man Games Rebuilt Light Pacific, everybody. Just drive it better than we did. I'd like to think that we got scope to improve. Like, we, yeah. we you know, we're still new at this whole... Uh, you know, dual footplate thing. It is difficult, and to be fair, the other thing you've got to think as well is that this is both of our first time properly on this loco. So, we've kind of had to learn how it all works properly very quickly. The boiler pressure is not coming back round. That's because the injectors are on full whack. Right, okay, that explains it. I've done that rather deliberately. Fair enough. I want to get the um, I want to get that water level back up to the max again so we don't have what happened last time. Yeah. Basically going up that hill because we were using so much steam I couldn't inject. Yeah. So then when we crested it and went down the other side we didn't have enough water to get up the other hill. There you go, you're nearly at full boiler now. Yeah. Stuart says we need a 7200 on the back. I'm going to go up to 1.1. Um, okay. 1 because we're on a hill, so we'll take it. Um, and 2 because it'll evaporate similar like when we build the pressure back up. Yeah.
Right, so what's happening everybody is Sam has just loaded the fire up with coal to get it burning nice and hot and he's filling the boiler to 1.1 so he's absolutely pumped it full of water now the blower is on full whack dampers are open we're just letting the fire burn now just to get the pressure back up which it seems to um, be coming around nicely yep yeah, that should come around quite quickly now oh there it is yeah you can even see uh, the yeah, gauge let's, moving let's watch the need to arise. it's like literally watching paint dry <laughs> although you can actually see it move which is good <laughs> so when we get to about 2.30, 2.40, I'll take the brakes off and we can start. Let's see what rate are we gaining pressure at. I'd say two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. Have we ever broken a speed record, Sam? Not on a multiplayer thing. No. I'd like to have a go one day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'd achieve it, but I'd love to give it a go. It all depends on the lurker. I mean, I know a few little uh, tricks we could try. What, modify the physics? <laughs> no. Uh, modifying the physics is an absolutely horrific job, though. See, look how quickly I brought that boiler crash around. Well, hey. I'm getting there. We're getting there. British Railways, we're getting there. By stopping for regular blow-ups. Right. Well, I mean, when your engines have holes in the boilers, yeah. Full wax, let's hope we can start her. Come on. Nope. Come on. We are so close. It is. Let me just... Oh, there's no handbrakes. Um, if you want to go into the one view, go into the cab behind. Set the other low curves in forwards. Well, she might go. Just give her a sec. She's going backwards at point two. She's trying. Let's just play with the brakes a little bit. Come on. All we need is a brake. Tell you what. Get the brakes on. Try now. She's going, Sam. You know what I did? What did you do? I shut the cylinder tap. We'd had an opening enough to blow any steam through. And shutting the cylinder of taps actually makes a fair bit of difference. Wow. Do you know what? I didn't think it made quite that much difference. I learnt this on um, I learnt this on the North Bay Railway of all places, driving Georgina there. Um, and it was really fascinating because as soon as you um, shut the cylinder taps, there was like a noticeable increase in acceleration to just tip off. This spot is now named Braunton's Bank.
The sanders are on. There you go, we've saved her. Now that was quite a big... Um, that was actually quite a big difference that it made, didn't it? Just by shutting the cylinder taps. Yep. That was remarkable. It was a nothing to an engine with determination. Well, i got to be honest, Braunton is really sticking her nose. She's digging in there. Come on, Braunton. I mean, she's starting a heavy train on a 1 in 50. All two of her. All two engines, yeah. Come on. There we go. Picks up the train, people. Next thing to try was either a jumper coach or get everyone to get out and push. I was more in favour of getting everyone out to push. Yep. So, we'll just leave the beach till she crests the hill now. Pretty much, yeah. Um, I don't want to alarm you, but we're at 270 pounds per square inch of boiler pressure. <laughs> I can probably turn the blower off now, then. Can I? Um, yeah. Let's. Um, I don't want to. As well. I don't want to alarm anyone, but that boiler pressure <laughs> is quite high. Um, Where's the blower? That's the blower. Yeah, I'll turn that off. You injecting? Yep. Well, the the steam pressure has just come right down. Oh, thank God for that! <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was. I thought she was going to pop. <laughs> I think the best I've ever managed with a loco like that was the Terrier. Um, I think I managed to get the Terrier about fifty pounds over the red line once. Oh, jeez! Um, that was absolutely crushing the tips off it, but it was pretty funny. It just sort of kept going up, and I'm like, well, okay, let's see how far it'll go. Where it gets tricky again. Yep. You know, we could have done with that extra 20 psi. I know, right? If I bloody. We should have welded the safety valve shut so we could have kept it in. <laughs> oh, gradients just got steeper. As long as we keep her moving, that's the important thing right now. I've just stuck the blower on full whack again. <laughs> well, so we can uh, turn her into a nuclear bomb again. Well, if we can get an extra 20 psi, it might just be enough to get us over the hill. And we only risk a minor boiler explosion and killing a few hundred people. It's not like it's anything major. Stuart Leeming has just put in the chat, imagine you went to all that trouble to get in the loco to start again on a hill, only for the boiler to explode. <laughs> oh god, could you imagine? Come on, Braunton. I don't think we got that much further to go, look. Yeah, but she's losing the battle now. But she's wound right the way forwards. She is losing slowly. Come on. There's no more we can give her either. She's at full reg. But she's got plenty of steam. I'm just going to leave her, just find her own way up. That's all we can do now. It's in her hands. We're almost there, look. We are so close. I bet you can even see. I bet you can even see just up ahead where the, the gradient stops. Yep. Oh, I'm still using the sanders a minute. Ah, try turning them off. Ah, yeah, there we go. There's a little bit more steam.
Yeah, we're coming off the gradient. We've done it. I think we've almost done it. Speed's going up, Reese, we've got it. Celebration whistle. Steamland says we just need to get the passengers to rock back and forth to create momentum. <laughs> I'm really tempted to ask all the passengers to get some oars out, stick them out the windows and start rowing us along. Yeah. There we go, she's lifting. <sighs> so, what's the next hill? Uh, I think that's it. I think it's pretty much making sure we don't roll off the track now. Yeah, we don't want to derail now after all. <laughs> In fact... Yes. Let's <laughs> uh, wind her back work. a bit. I feel like playing that um, song, Celebration. <laughs> Woohoo! Celebrate good times, come on! Woohoo! <laughs> Where we are for Southern Engines can find hills if you clone them. Yeah, if you create a genetic copy of the loco and modify the scenario a bit. <laughs> We've it's done it, hooray! We've done it, hooray! <laughs> Do you remember this, that cartoon by Disney? Is it Casey Jones? Um, at one point during the cartoon, Casey Jones has fired the boiler so much that like the only thing keeping the boiler from exploding is the boiler bands yeah and he's like standing on top of the boiler hammering it all back together that's pretty <laughs> much how we were then on that hill <laughs> just holding the boiler together with love 270 psi like oh shit round trousers time built Celebrate good times. Don't file, do 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 do. <laughs> Celebrate good times. Don't file. Do 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 do. Right, let's wind it right back. Wow. I'm sure Ben at Bossman Games is well impressed with her, our performance tonight. <laughs> Ben, if you are watching, I'm sorry I butchered your loco. To be fair, um, yeah, it is actually harder driving with two people. I think. Um, I mean, for an advanced worker like this, you normally just ban out a fire alarm when you only have to worry about one thing. But trying to coordinate everything as well, it, it is tricky. Have we got ah? We could We've have got a lovely view. <laughs> we could have had a view from just behind the logo if I put this carriage next That'll to the logo. Brain. I know. That's what I should have done. I wonder if we can. No. Oh. That's as close as we can get. I should have put one of these coaches right next to the loco. Yep. Tunnel. You're not shoveling, are you? Well, let's hope I aren't. Er
I just notched it back. No, no, that's it. You have. Oh, I haven't. Yes, you have. I haven't. You have. No. You're telling me those points are set against us. They're not. They are. Look. See? Yeah, it's not going through them. Shut up. <laughs> We weren't close enough for it to matter. <laughs> oh wow, look at that steam. <laughs> you might want to start injecting a bit. I would if I could see the hood. Yeah, let's get it back to a happy spot again. Jordan's Railway Simulator is going to reskin this into Hogwarts Express livery. Huh. Ah, I bet that'll be, um, that'll be Mr. Wooten. So now I've got to navigate our way into Plymouth somehow. Yeah, we'll worry about that when we get to it. I think there's a big old viaduct up ahead somewhere. Let's do some line siding. Yeah, just beware when you're line siding, you've got to watch the hood because I can't read it. Uh, boiler pressure's 215 and falling. We're at 0.7 yep. water. Double Brauntons. So what are we going to drive on stream next? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think with any look, next week, uh, um, we'll be having a couple of singles. That's the plan anyway. We need to finalise all the details for that though before we can tell everyone. Uh, but yeah, it should be a good one. We'll finally be having a race again. So that's something for you all to look forward to. It's actually, this video has taken quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. <laughs> Probably yep. because of all the problems we had. Yeah, yeah, but I'd do it. Ambitious but rubbish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ambitious but rubbish, my ass. We made it over that hill, didn't we? Eventually, yes. Well, there we go, are they? I would say we convinced her. We convinced her to go over it. Uh, we're me sweet talking the fire, did it? Fireman gently caressed the locomotive over the hill. <laughs> James is driving with fire, and we're feeling him all over to make sure that he wasn't injured. Woo! Woo! Cried James. Whatever is happening. Well, we're losing our water level. Yeah, I don't inject. Well, the pressure's going up. <coughs> yeah, you got lots of pressure, Sam. You could inject. I'm gonna stick her, at, keep her around 60 mile an hour now. Right. 
pretty happy with the speed now. She seems to be doing all right now. Point six four. Mm. Pressure's dropping. Yep. Uh, you need to be wagging it on there. Yeah. I need that for the steam generation. Well, we. She is still generating. The problem is we're already speeding so I can't go that much faster. Yeah. Might have to crack the blower a bit. Let's see if it makes a difference. I don't think it will make much difference. Because I gotta ease right back now. No. See I've eased right back on the regular. Yep. Well, there's your viaduct. It's the remains of a broad gauge viaduct on the right then. Was that Ivy Bridge? Yes, it was. I think we just passed through it, didn't we? Yep. We're not actually that far from Plymouth now. I got to open her up a bit now. Point seven boiler water level, fire mass eight seventy. Lovely. How much further have we got to go? Uh, not that, not a lot further. We Where are we there. Uh, Plymouth is here. Oh right, that's, that's so it's, fine. It's not that much further. A few more miles. Yeah.
Yeah, considering we're only, only doing 57 miles an hour, it feels a lot quicker, doesn't it? Yep. It's all that wobbly Great Western track. Uh, yeah, that's obviously the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you mean proper, perfectly built track? If it's proper and perfectly built, why is it so wobbly? Because good engines can deal with wobbles. Little engines mm. can, can do big things, you know. Yep, that settles it. Next time we're doing a um, list, we've got to do the core tank multiplayer thing. Oh yeah. Core tank mainline run. So we've got the um, we've got the single stream, we've got the core tank mainline stream, and we've got the T9 stream to do. Yeah, we've got a few things to come up. That may well take us up until Christmas. It might, yeah. I love watching this loco from the carriages, you know. It's lovely watching the motion go around, isn't it? Look at that. I love the way it looks like it's wiggling. Yeah. It makes the bat. It's like when you have a pencil and you hold it between your fingers and you do the wiggly thing with it. Oh, please don't derail. Please don't derail. I didn't check the points. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> good, good. Why does it stop there? Come on. Oh, man. Oh, it's a steep hill. Right, Sam, we've got virtually no water in the boiler. Sam? Are you there, Sam? Right, I can't hear you, Sam. I don't know if you're injecting or not. But I gotta start slowing her down. Sam, I don't know if you can hear me. I think Sam has dropped out. Sam, you there? I can hear you, but you're very quiet. Yeah, my internet's just a wobble. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, it should be trying to connect to you now, but you may have to move through it. Hang on. Whiz parsec. Accept. Hey, back in again. There we go. Right. Where just so you know, I've whacked the injectors on because uh, the yep. water level just fell through the floor. Yep. And we're slowing down. Right. So you're at point seven now. We're just approaching. Say again? We are going straight through like 
Yeah, it's all set. We're slowing down to 60. Everybody shouting break. Why? We're approaching Lyria, the speed limit's 60, I'm at 54. Why do I need to slow down? Well, we got a single yellow. Why do we got a single yellow? Because there's danger ahead. Oh crap! Why we got a red? Probably because you haven't set the points in front of us. I did set the points. See look, we got the road luck. The road's yeah. fine luck. Right. Well, need we caution then, I guess. Really not sure why we had a red signal for that, because the the track was set. That was set perfectly. Ah, well. Well. We've got to start again now. Well, at least we don't have a hill. True that. So we're just making the final run into Plymouth now. Minute history says you're doing 70 miles an hour downhill on a downhill stretch, running a steam powered bomb into the middle of Plymouth. Hey, my firing's not that bad, I've let it calm down a bit. Again. I don't think those extra 20 psi for those few seconds would have done too much damage to the boiler. Not much. It's okay. Look at the scenery though. This is really a labour of love has gone into this route. What a screenshot as well. Alright, yeah, it's two times Braunton, but whatever. <laughs> no one will be able to see what the number in the uh, name plate says on the second one anyway. It'll be late. Make sure the road's set. Pretty much. Yeah, it's not set, Reeves. Really. That point is set again. Yeah. <laughs> Have we got a platform to go into? Yeah, platform four. Right, let's get cracking. But given how close we are, I'm going to let that fire die by a bit now. We won't need the uh, steam and we don't really want to be blowing off when we get into the platform. Let's shut that off. Still blowing off. Uh. Yeah, that's. Um, that should have shut the dampers now. Sir Liv just said, bother save Greece, so we were going so well too. What a nuisance signals are. And he blew it angry on his whistle. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, Nick Gagliardi is in the chat. He says you'd only need one engine if you had a big boy. That is true. Yeah, but if you had a big boy, you'd also have wiped out 90% of the infrastructure on the route. 
Who needs infrastructure when you've got power? <laughs> Big boy tore up the rails, destroyed the stations, bridges and viaducts as it passed, but it didn't care because it had power. That's all that you need. Sadly, it did not comply with modern uh, emissions regulations and failed the emissions test. <laughs> I love this route. I've only driven it a couple of times and it's not fully done. There's a lot of sections that don't have full scenery yet, but it is an absolutely fantastic route. It's like a continuous work in progress. I think someone was just asking where the um, where, what route this is. It's um, was it the Railways of Devon and Cornwall by High Speed Tracks HST? It's a really decent route. With great power comes great responsibility, like Donald Trump. We almost made it through an entire live stream without mentioning the U.S. election, didn't we? Uh, Sam has gone again, so I'm going to assume that his internet has dropped out. It sounds like I'm on my own for the final bit, guys. There we go, we're on the final... Uh descent into Plymouth so I'm going to shut the dampers and turn the blower off he's back we're just making the final uh, approach to Plymouth Okay. Sorry, we're nearly done anyway. Yep. Plymouth Platform 4. We just gotta pull up and make a dignified stop. Highland Winterwolf says he can't believe I am derailed all stream. Well, the thing is, I have. <laughs> Just before he joined the video, I think I did. Yeah, only a little bit, though. There we go, guys. It was a hard slog, but uh, Braunton and Braunton made it. We did actually make it to Plymouth. Yep, it was uh, <laughs> definitely a hard slog with that one. That was quite a hard live stream, that. Not going to lie, that really wasn't the easiest live stream we've ever done. Nope. <laughs> but then again, they never are, are they? No. Something always goes wrong. Just get a few screenies just to prove that we made it. So number 34046 Braunton and number 34046 Braunton have both made it as far as Plymouth. I believe that um, the route is actually modelled going further. Let's have a look. Could we cross the Tamar? How far along do we have to go to cross the Tamar? I don't know how much further... Is this it? Yeah, I think this is where you cross the Tamar. I'm really interested to see if they've modelled that part of the route. Should we run on ahead? Um, you can do, but 
you'd have to like drag me back into it. All right, I'll just get you back in then. If you fire me a request, stop in the pass, it? it's not it's not much further to be honest. Yeah, I'm just really intrigued to see what the the Tamar Bridge looks like. Yeah. Are you in the you in the game? Uh, give us a second. Uh, no, apparently not. But you got control of the mouse. Is it flying around? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, I'm back. You're in the game. I just had, yeah, I just had my um, start bar at the bottom there. Oh right, okay. Let's go have a look. We're going on a leap and we're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Let's do this. Probably ought to set the road. You know what, Reese? I'm still waiting for the day when we're crazy enough to try and do a um, full, west, uh, full western main line as a multiplayer thing. That would be interesting. That would be absolutely crazy. <laughs> I'm up for doing it, but I'd have to find a day when... It'd have to be a Saturday. <coughs> it, it'd have to be a daytime stream. Derail at Saltash. Joe Light Railway. Well, uh, you don't have to stay if you want to head off. It's not compulsory to stay. All we're doing is we're going to have a look at the uh, the bridge over the over the River Tamar. I'm just curious to see if it's been modelled. Should only take a few minutes. We got virtually no boiler pressure. Hmm. Are the injectors on? Nope. That's down to your driving, then, Reese. Everyone's expecting us to crash. We've done us crash already. Work too hard to crash now. Andrew Sosanenko says, Did I try out that U boat simulator? No way, I haven't had a look for it yet. I'll have to have a look on Steam. Mm. We've got to be climbing the hill here, Reese. I think so. That boiler water level keeps going up and the injectors aren't on. Ah, we may have just gone over the top of said hill.
know what Trainsim needs? What does Trainsim need? He needs shadows for smoke and steam. That would be good. Even if it would just fill a main chimney step. Might have made quite a bit of difference. I would love to see smoke and shadows. Or shadows for the smoke. We're just looking at the ground now and thinking, you know, it's really odd because it looks like it's just a dead engine. We're nearly there, guys. Not far off now. Ah, uh, we're getting there. Oh my god, look! Nuclear flask! Hey! That's the fuel for the return journey sorted. There we go. I do seem to be having quite a bit of lag at the moment. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there. Getting quite some lag spikes every now and then. I'm pretty sure that this is the station just before the bridge. Yes it is. Or is it? Oh, it's not, is it? We're not quite not quite there yet. Root knowledge yeah, requires improvement. <laughs> to be fair, this is, I've only driven this way a couple of times. Yeah. I think the only other time I've been here on in train sim was when we did the um, the class forty from Penzance to London, which I don't think I was around for because of the diesel. You you did it with me. Well, I might have been. 
Oh, I don't know actually, it does seem familiar now. Oh, don't tell me we can't bloody start now on this gradient. Oh, you haven't broke, you haven't broke the engine out for you. She doesn't seem to want to go. She's going. Full reg. Regs through the roof. Let's go up ahead and have a quick look. See, that looks like quite atmospheric here. Yep. Although I don't think anyone was expected to see the uh, Atlantic Coast Express trying to start on a hill right here. Yeah, it's a little bit lost. Oh yeah, that's the... Uh, it was the live stream where I failed the Class 40 after about an hour into the run. <laughs> hey, look on the bright side, Reese. At least we didn't decide to take Pullman's. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that would have been uh, a bit of a disaster, I think. Can you imagine living in one of these houses right there? Just standing at the bottom of the garden and listening to this. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, don't s somebody's telling us we're on the wrong route now. Don't tell me we're on the wrong. No, we're not. We're on. We are on the Great Western route. We're fine. Apparently the Atlantic Coast Express has been to Penzance before with Braunton and Nunney Castle. Yeah. 51 more like it. <laughs> Here we go. We're just about to go over the uh, Brunel's infamous bridge. some screenshots of it. We are getting some pretty hefty lag spikes going on. Yep. Let's see if I can stand on the platform by here.
Are you just spamming the screenshot button there? No. You, mm, good well, job. wrong roading it because the points wouldn't switch. Meh. And I think it's time to call it an end to this live stream, chaps. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. We just crossed the uh, the bridge over the Tamar into Cornwall. And Braunton and Braunton are going to proceed down towards Penzance. So, yeah. That is the new Boss Man Games Rebuilt Light Pacific Pack. It's available on their website. I'll add a link to the description box below. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the live stream. I was joined tonight by Sam Stevenson of Blast Pipe Productions. Yep, you were. <laughs> were. And it's time to say goodbye. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.